Okay, I'm at Highbury Park today. It's absolutely beautiful. I just wanted to show you the manor house, Highbury Hall. And um, I do believe that the park used to be the gardens for the manor house. Got some beautiful hedges and trees, as you can see. So I'm going to find a nice spot and make a grid. So I just wanted to show you this lovely pond because of the lily flowers, absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could get a bit more of a close up. That's stunning. So look how magical this part is. It's got some algae on the water. Looks like grass. Very inspiring. So we're going to investigate some more. So this is another area. We've got the lock and allotments at this side. It's quite overgrown now. But I think we've got some fruit trees in there. We've got roses here. And we've got a hammock there. So I think. I might go around the other side and make a grid. Okay guys, I had to scrap that idea because it's the summer holidays and there's a play group. Um, but this lovely tree, I've got a little fairy door and it even opens. I've just placed a couple of crystals in there for someone to find, just some tiny ones. Isn't that lovely? I'll just show you the tree. It's a massive tree and it's actually two trees together. It's an oak tree and a beech tree I think. This tree here is a different tree. So I'll probably have to show you it from afar. Yeah, see if there's a beech tree in the middle. So this beech tree is linked to this oak tree. Their trunks are kind of melded together. So I've made the grid already because it's very difficult to hold the camera um, but I will settle down somewhere and maybe do some light language. Um, I found a perfect tree stump and um, I have actually got a fairy door at home that I might place here because look how far it goes in. It goes way back, it's almost like a magical door. So I thought this would be perfect for the grid. And I've got my little 
fairy girl there. Um, a couple of crow feathers that I've picked up in the park. Got some angel aura sticks. Um, this one's crackled quartz. Got Shiva lingam, that's for balancing the male and female energies. Um, to ground the grid, I've got rainbow hematite here and here. And also some little pieces there. And we've got clear quartz and pink aura. And we've even got the shimmer from the snails to give the grid a nice glow. So I'm going to activate this grid to balance the male and female energies in this area. So I'm going to leave this gem pretty gem in the um, fairy doorway so if you do live in um, UK and you go to Highbury Park and you manage to find this maybe the, this is for you so cover it with leaves and hopefully someone's lucky enough to find it 